apples. I'm still stuck in the live split age. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're uh then what's off we and can't so program our own. Though. Yeah, he's yes. he's super smart. Nice little That's red horizontal to start out from Dimwit. He's got a bit of a red staircase, but he's clear clearing it out pretty nicely and getting just the pills he needs to do it too. Right, and he looks like he's going for a horizontal in the center with those yellows as Adelito has Ooh, his own I horizontal. That combo. Yeah, look at that. Both of them have awesome combos to clear out some of the center of their boards. Now, notice Dimwit's board pretty split right now, whereas Adelito's, he's just going to be drilling down line after line, which I think I like a little bit better, Packy. Dimwit is really looking for another uh, yellow-blue to complete that drop T over in columns one and two. But right now he's not getting it. He has the luxury of clearing other things out for the time being, and there, there it is. He's finally got it. Now he basically just needs a yellow, and he can trigger that whenever he wants. And on Adelito's side, he's got five viruses Ooh. left, a small lead over Dimwit, uh, and column eight's his pain point right now. We don't like to see that uh, blue-yellow on top of the blue, but I think he's going to clear out from underneath. Yeah, he's, he's trying to horizontal the yellow first, looks like. And Dimwit's triggered that yellow blue down there. And so really he's just got some yellows and a couple of uh and a red left. Looks like he's gonna take this out horizontally, this yellow, perhaps. Um Yep. And uh meanwhile, Adelito out at a 129. Nice time. Yeah. An early miss drop hung up Adelito in that level six, unfortunately, as well. And uh, as far as Dimwit's side, he was really waiting on the blue yellow for columns one and two to get himself out of that but now both players are out and screaming through level seven exactly here comes a lightning no. bolt followed by Adelito nice. <laughs> Adelito struggled with a uh, diversity for just a hot second um although I'm not liking uh that garbage for him on columns one and two but I think it's easily cleared out by one more blue yellow yeah, and he doesn't really have a whole lot of other use for blue-yellow right now, so it's not the most painful thing in the world to deal with. That horizontal is going to drop the double blue down where he needs it to go, but right now he has almost, he has one red virus left on his board. Okay, no, he has two. I just spotted the other one. <laughs> it's the Where's Waldo of the Dr. Mario community. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dimwit needs a lot of blue-red at the moment. Notice that one yellow in column two is buried. So anything else that's yellow, especially because it's going to be cleaned out now, is going to be used for platforms and strategic garbage for combos. Adelito was really playing the long game there, it felt like, on that level. And it seems to have paid off. He's pretty much free and clear, and he just doesn't need any of this yellow he's getting right now. Now, I think he knows that he maybe slightly misprioritized that um, that hill because he could yeah. have cleared out a little bit earlier as he's out of the 306, but really didn't hurt him in the long run. Yeah, it, it only cost him like an extra pill or two, so that wasn't really a huge gaffe or anything like that. So far, he's mm -hmm. coming on pretty strong. Yeah, definitely. As Dim went out mm -hmm. at a 328... Um, not the kind of pace that we're used to seeing from Dimwit, uh, but he's already into his uh, his level eight and working on that nice horizontal with the yellows on top. There is a dozen virus lead on this part of Adelito right now, which is pretty impressive against a player like Dimwit. Definitely. Plays the long, goes ahead and goes with the couple of drops there so he could maximize the efficiency of using those yellow fragments to get rid of all the viruses on the bottom of his board. I like it. Nice horizontal from Dimwit at the center of the board. Notice he's got some blue yellow garbage in columns seven or six and seven, but uh, nice. already, already cleared out. Meanwhile, check out this lightning bolt from Adelito. There was a fat log D sandwich earlier, followed by that lightning bolt, and that's just wonderful to see. He is just destroying this level eight. Wow. This is a really hot pace as he's out at a 422. Meanwhile, Ooh. Dimwit, not not having trouble with this level by any means, but um, Adelito is just is blazing fast right now. Everything's really falling into place. He's That's an interesting play right there. He, might be, yeah, he's playing the long game, trying to horizontal those. Oh my. And I like that. that move. 
I like to have to send that yellow fragment into column two instead of column three so that he can still cl clear the uh, yellow viruses underneath. Mm -hmm. Now, Dim went down to his last few viruses. Having three red, one blue is not the ideal situation, but luckily this blue red going to clear some of those out. And he can get the final viruses in a sweet tea mm. out of a 514. Very nice. You know, we love our sweet tea here in the Dr. Mario community. Yes, we do. And uh, we've got a 16 virus lead for Adelito. Small, uh, small timer gap, but not, uh, not too big. Uh, he's got a lot of red and blue that are up there, sort of tucked away. Um, nice, really nice combo from Adelito to take out a lot of garbage at the center of the board. I think Adelito's style of play is really interesting. It seems like sometimes he plays the long game with his horizontal setups. Definitely. And, you know, that's the kind of stuff that Dimwit also does. Oh, I think he misflipped that bet pretty bad there. Oof. He's still got he's still got a comfortable 12 virus lead. I mean, I don't know how comfortable you can be with the lead against Dimwit, but Yeah, never that comfortable. Uh but uh Dimwit's got to struggle through a lot of blue in order to to make this work. <laughs> Luckily, it is cooperating with him. RNG is a little bit. I'd love to see a double blue for him come through, but uh we'll see if commentators blessing gives it to him. Looks like he's going to seal it off right there because it's a fickle thing to depend on, that double pill. Definitely. But he really could use a whole lot of blues. Now, Adelito, Adel yeah. I'm not sure about that double blue. It looks like it's serving as a platform. Um, yeah, it is. And then I think he's going to take out the bottom red horizontally probably last. Uh, yeah. And he's relying. Yeah, he's relying on a couple reds, and he is going to get them and be out at a 640. So Dimwit managed to manage to close the virus gap from twelve to four. So no lead yeah. is safe. No deal, no lead is safe. But Adelito <laughs> don't manage to hang on. GGs from both players. So you'll hear us talking about some really cool moves from uh, all of our players as time goes on. The community has given some really creative names uh, to various plays. For example, Double Horizontal is called a Fat Log, and you'll see us call a lot of other ones over the course of the night. Typically, when it's one right on top of the other and they line up, perfect, line up perfectly, we call it a Fat Log. If it's like a little jagged, we might call it a Lightning Log. We're kind of still figuring it out a little bit, but... <laughs> New discoveries all the time. Yes. We have a ready from Dimwit. And we're going to have some hydration from Adelito and a ready. Three, two, one, pills. We are off. Game two in a best of three. Adelito has a one nothing lead, the 11th seed against the sixth seeded Dimwit. Dimwit is off to the races, and here comes Adelito. Nice use of the yellow uh, red for Adelito. Didn't really have any use for it immediately, but look, he's already setting up for a really nice sweet tea. A blue yellow is exactly what he'd need for that. Uh, not getting it, of course, so far, but. Um... He's being patient. He's going to take the blue red, really nice tee, and drops garbage right where it needs to go. I like that move. Sometimes you're not always going to get the exact piece you need, but when but you can put yourself in a situation where you have more than one out. So that's exactly what Adelito did right there. Smart play. Meanwhile, Dimwit, awesome play himself. Uh, he is really taking things down efficiently. Notice this blue cascading down. Um, well, it uh, drops down to a horizontal in the bottom row. Everything looks free and clear for Dimwit, and he's making some really good setups. This blue will trigger a nice combo for him in row two. It's like Adelito is trying to set up the horizontals on the blue viruses on the bottom of his board. Yep, and he gets one of those. Meanwhile, Dimwit has the nice drop uh, combo, and he's out at a 119. Awesome pace, and all Adelito needs is one yellow. And here it comes, 122. So he's only a few seconds behind right now. Mm -hmm. Yep, With sometimes lot that... A lot of double yellow opportunities right there if he could get them. 
Yes, definitely. And meanwhile, uh, Dimwit having a lot of blue and red on the top of the board. Notice he looks Ooh, like he nice might, might be trying to go for a red horizontal at the top. Not sure. Adelito taking the red horizontal. Might have a bit of a pain point in column four right now. It can it, it can be really tricky to deal with if that becomes a problem in the future. Holy moly, look at this uh look at this dependency from Dimwit. He is really holding on uh here to this uh horizontal red possibility. I like that play by Dimwit right there because now he just needs one red fragment instead of a double red. And there he takes it. Bam. Ooh. Now, there is a bunch of garbage still left over, and uh, Adelito has taken a small lead over Dimwit. Um, nice horizontal at the bottom of the board, but needs a lot of blue at the moment, so we'll see if uh, see if he gets it in short order. There's some blues coming to Adelito that All he needs right. right now. And a good and move at the end, seeing the red-yellow in the next box. He is out at 238. That is incredible. Yes, we love to be we love to see players sub three and two thirty-eight is pretty awesome. Meanwhile, Dimwit having some trouble getting these blues going horizontally. I think he has a double. Uh you know, he wants two sets of blues horizontally there. Maybe he's uh opting out of that at the moment as Adelito uh burning through level eight. So far so good. Got burning through some early horizontals. The horizontal game might be complicating things a little bit right now because it it can be it can be difficult to set up many horizontals at once. But there he's got the blues cleared up in column four. Meanwhile, uh, Dimwit has just what he needs to be out at about a three thirty three. But he is, you can tell from his face he's not exactly liking uh, his maybe his luck, maybe his moves. Not sure. And some and sometimes it's just like that. By the way, I love that placement of that double yellow by Adelito for seeing the next piece and knowing he can just drop it in there and it'll just fit perfectly. But yeah, sometimes sometimes you just don't get great boards to wow, nice drop combo by Adelito. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I keep is... I keep I keep going to and fro here, but Oh no, that's just what you should do. Um nice yeah. combo from uh Dimwit in columns seven and eight there. He, you know, he's doing the best he can with this. Now, the the red horizontal, he's going to be dependent, probably going to need a double red, but he's going to take the red yellow. And that's going to actually create some diversity on the left hand side um, for him to drop down on top of that blue. Adelito is absolutely blazing through this run right now. He is going through level nine and he is pretty close to victory. Dropping the, that yellow yellow fragment in because he sees that he can use it on top of the yellow virus right there. Yeah, he he's definitely seeing some layers down, which is really uh, impressive. That's a that's a game that uh, Dimwit also plays. Now Dimwit needs a lot of blue. A bunch of his columns have blues on top. A little bit spired it means he's going to have to take drop time pretty much at every corner. But um, he does have some options, maybe for the horizontal in the center in the blue, but. Uh, We'll see what he does. This double red coming in clutch for him. Sometimes that's just the way this game goes. I mean, RNG can really have it in for you, or it could really, or it could really have it good for another player. Or heck, it could, both can happen at the same time. I mean, it happens to the best of players, and believe me, Dimwit is no slouch. Adelito is just having some really good games right now. Wow, amazing combo from Dimwit, though, clearing out what looked like a really dire situation, seeing how those things were going to add up. Uh, but that blue in the bottom is buried, and I think, you know, it's going to be... I don't know if a comeback is possible at this point, Packy. Uh, well, he has... Well, he's not going to be lapped, at least, but it is pretty rare that you get this kind of advantage on this kind of player. And Adelito seeing the horizontal, very nice play right there, too. He is mm -hmm. just about done. It's not going to be a sub six, but it's going to be pretty good. Yes. Now, meanwhile, I think Dimwit was one of the first people to do a sub six in levels uh, six through nine. And yep. Adelito just needs one red. He's out of the 617. Awesome pace for Adelito, and he takes the match. Ooh. My fingernails are going to start getting shorter in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome GG's... job, Adelito. <laughs> For sure. 
Um, so I'm not sure uh, Dinwit knows at the moment that uh, he's he's done, but uh, a good combo there to drop down. And great job, Adelito, getting to round two and besting an amazing player and Dimwit GGs. Looks like uh, Dimwit is probably going to go ahead and finish this out. I saw the brief hesitation on the drop of one of the pills and thought maybe he'd call it there, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and finish it off. Or maybe not. <laughs> 